Hello brothers and sisters, we welcome you all back to the Sons of God YouTube channel. In today's video, we will be sharing with you all, a most recent message from our Lord Jesus Christ. This message was given to Valentina Papagna, and to Liz de Maria. This message is very informative and we would wish for no one to miss any important part of the message. We urge you all to please listen careful to this message to the end. God bless you all, let us pray. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful, and enkindle in them the fire of your divine love. Send forth your Spirit that we be created, and you renew the face of the earth. O God, who by the light of the Holy Spirit instructed the hearts of the faithful, grant that by the same Holy Spirit we may be truly wise and always enjoy your consolations through Christ our Lord. Amen. Message from our Lord Jesus Christ to Valentina Papagna February 9, 2024 Throughout the night, the Lord gave me a lot of suffering for the holy souls. I was praying the divine praises when suddenly our Lord appeared and said, I am sorry that I permit you to have so much suffering, but I need your help. So many people lately have died without repentance. I would still like to save their souls. Our Lord then started to converse with me. He said, You know, to tell you the truth, while I look around the world, it needs to be corrected and punished. But when I look at every country, it has good people and bad people in it, and for me, it is very hard to punish humanity because I don't like to punish good people, because they are faithful to me and they like to pray and I know they love me. But other people are just the opposite and they do all wrong and evil deeds in their life and they under the influence of the evil. They prefer to live in the darkness instead of the light. I said, but Lord Jesus, you said you were coming soon, and then maybe these people will still change. He said, I doubt they will change. Some will, and some are very stubborn, and they will not change. The purification has to come to the world before the reign of my kingdom, that is the only way. So, my children, do not lose hope, pray and remain faithful to me. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for giving us encouragement. Lord, have mercy on the whole world. Message of our Lord Jesus Christ to Luz de Maria February 19, 2024 Beloved children, receive my blessing. Beloved little children, continue on the path of interior change, the path to conversion. Entrust yourselves to me and my Holy Mother, WHO protects you at all times. Be creatures of good, of blessing for all your brothers and sisters, radiating my love at this time when the lack of love inhabits hearts like a parasite. My children, you must prepare so that in the urgent times through which you will have to live because of humanity's disobedience, you might rid yourselves of snares and fears and face whatever comes with faith. Be a help to your fellow men so that they would not fall into despair and would not act hastily. The sky will appear to burn, progressing from country to country and then growing dark, do not move at that point, 
stay where you are and offer yourselves to me, acknowledge your faults and pray, pray. Loved, my mystical body will suffer because of loving me in spirit and truth. You will not only suffer persecution, but the pain of experiencing the contempt to which I will be subjected by my children, and those children of mine of other beliefs who will enter my churches in order to desecrate me. I grieve, my children, I grieve over so many offenses, over so much profanation of what is sacred. Dear children, my beloved angel of peace, my beloved envoy, is coming to help you. This creature of my house will come to you in order to show you true love, my love of which he has drunk and by which his spirit has been nourished in order to give it to humanity, which, not recognizing him, will hate him and, when it does recognize him, will not accept him. He will be put through great trials, wounded and persecuted by order of the Antichrist. My beloved Saint Michael the Archangel will protect and defend him with his shield. My angel of peace, my envoy, will come to give himself to everyone who wishes to listen to him and to rediscover the path to my house. I mentioned my messenger in advance in a very well-known form of Marian invocation, but he has not yet been found due to a lack of openness to the revelations. He will be followed by women of faith and a group of my faithful children who will see wonders, they will respect him and love him. His word is from my house, his mark of distinction is my love. Little children, mature spiritually. Apostasy in my church is imminent. The devil knows that he does not have much time left and is striving to present idolatry, lies, and falsehood to my children in order to confuse them and thereby increase his bounty of souls. This is a time of preparation amidst the pain of this Lent. It is a moment for spiritual strength through faith, hope and charity. Without forgetting that you have to fill your hands with good works, do not forget to carry out those good works enlightened by my Holy Spirit and by the faith of those who love me. I call you to be spiritually wise and to know my word. Because I do not want a pagan wisdom, but one focused on my word that is and will be forever and ever. Pray, my children, pray for countries that will suffer earthquakes, including Argentina, the state of Baja California, Costa Rica, Brazil, England, Mexico, Nicaragua. Pray, my children, pray for your brothers and sisters, for those who, despite being innocent, are taken to war. Pray, my children, pray for those who will fall in the Balkans and cause consternation for humanity. Pray my children, pray for one another. Being in Lent, remain spiritually alert, one person should be their brother's shoulder. May another be their brother's hand. May another be charity. May another be love for their neighbor. May another be the word that gives strength. May another be the hand that lifts the fallen. Pray in and out of season. Evil does not stop whereas my children pause over foolish things. Welcome the trials with love and continue on the path before the devil stops you. My beloved, you are not alone, do not fear, but fear doing evil. You are my beloved children and I look upon you with love, with eternal love. I bless you. Your Jesus. Hail Mary most pure, conceived without sin. that comes the end of our message. Brothers and sisters, please do well to thank our Lord Jesus on the comment session. Also ensure that you give this message a like, and make sure you share this message to at least one person for the salvation of souls. God bless you all and see you in our next video.